Life is about movement and vitality. Don't let vein disease slow you down. Our cutting edge procedures are minimally invasive with little to no downtime. Rediscover healthy, beautiful legs that keep up with your life. Regain your confidence and freedom to enjoy every moment. Choose Vein Clinics of Hawaii. Your journey to healthier veins start here. Aloha, it's Kiana Kayabiab, and here are today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Also, mahalo to Longstrugs Hawaii for sponsoring the show. Head on over to your neighborhood Longstrugs for all your shopping needs. A Hawaii woman who was stuck in Gaza when the Israel-Hamas war broke out has crossed the border into freedom. Ramona Okumura's family received a text from her at around 4 a.m. Hawaii time. Okumura said that she had caught a shuttle over the Egyptian border and was on her way to Cairo. The 71-year-old Honolulu native is a prosthetic specialist who has been volunteering with the Palestine Children's Relief Fund's Gaza Amputee Project since 2017. She helps youngsters who lost their limbs due to regional violence. Okumura was one of hundreds of foreign nationals and dozens of seriously injured Palestinians who were allowed to leave Gaza today after more than three weeks of war. Firefighters are still working to contain a fire that has burned through hundreds of acres of wildland above Mililani Mocha. The Honolulu Fire Department resumed its battle at 6.41 this morning after suspending operations overnight. As of this morning, the fire had slowed to a crawl after burning an estimated 710 acres. Officials said it was about 30% contained. The main portion of the fire continues to move east, away from the Mililani Mocha community. Division of Forestry and Wildlife Personnel plan to assess the fire from the ground today, while HFD begins an investigation into how the blaze started. Another victim of the Lahaina wildfire has been identified. 76-year-old Lee Rogo of Lahaina was the 98th fatality to be identified publicly. Maui police released his name this morning after notifying his family. According to authorities, 99 people died in the blaze that swept through historic Lahaina town on August 8. All but one of those victims have been identified. The Maui Police Department said it will no longer be providing daily updates about the identities of Maui wildfire disaster victims following today's release. Visit StarAdvertiser.com to read more about the people who died as a result of the Maui fires. Hawaii Island Police have opened an unattended death investigating after a decomposed body was discovered in the Hawaiian Ocean View Estate subdivision. Police said patrol officers responded to reports of a body at an empty lot along the 92-2500 block of Ohia Drive at about 6 Monday evening. Once on the scene, officers found the body of a partially decomposed man. Police are now asking for the public's help in identifying the victim. He is described as possibly Caucasian, about 5 feet 7 inches tall, and 180 pounds with brown or blonde hair. Anyone with information is encouraged to contact Detective Joshua Pa at 808-785-7197. Anonymous tips can also be submitted to Crime Stoppers at 808-961-8300. The Federal Reserve has left its key short-term interest rate unchanged for a second straight time. The central bank launched an aggressive series of rate hikes last year to tame inflation. After 19 months, the increases appear to be having their intended effect on the U.S. economy. But it's not clear if more needs to be done. The benchmark rate is now at about 5.4 percent, its highest level in 22 years. In a news conference today, Chair Jerome Powell noted that progress is being made, but said the Fed isn't confident that the short-term rate is high enough to reduce growth. Consumer inflation has dropped from a year-over-year -year peak of 9.1 percent in June 2022 to 3.7 percent last month. Powell said that slowing down the rate hikes will give a better sense of how they are impacting the economy and whether more increases will be needed. For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo, have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Call us at 808-585-2955.
or visit our website at veinclinicsofhawaii.com to schedule your consultation.